Hi guys, I'm Anissa Camacho and welcome to this week's episode. This week is, oh guys, I can't tell you, I've been like waiting so patiently for this week. But this week, what we're talking about is one of my favorite shows to watch in the whole wide world. Guys, I'm talking about Friends. We all know the most loved show ever, and yes it is. And it's because it's just such a wholesome, loving, amazingly funny show. So in honor of the 25th year anniversary, which happened like back in September, I really, really love Friends and I hope you guys love it just as much. And we're going to talk about the best episodes, in my opinion. So uh, let's do this. I'm not doing the episodes necessarily in like my favorite order, but I'm doing it in order of seasons because it was just easier that way. So the first episode that I absolutely loved from Friends, apart from the first one, we were all, you know, Daddy, I'm a hat. I don't want to be a hat. That's wrong, but you get what I mean. So one of my favorite first episodes of Friends in season two, episode 14, the one with the prom video. Now leading up to this whole point, okay, is Rachel and Ross's love story. Then Rachel realized her feelings for Ross, but then he came back with a girlfriend. So it was a little bit of a mess. Then Ross finds out that Rachel actually likes him and now he's torn between Julie and Rachel until they come across the prom video. The night that Monica and Rachel had their prom, Rachel's dates stood her up. So, ever the gentleman Ross goes and gets dressed up in his suit, ready to take Ra Rachel to prom, only to find out that she actually got a date and she didn't even see that he got dressed up or anything like that. That was like, such a like a oof moment. After that, Rachel's just like, oh my word, Ross actually loves me and I actually love Ross. So that's where they share their like first kiss. So the next episode that I really, really love is also in season two. It is episode 19, the one where Eddie won't go away. Now, Eddie, who is Eddie? Another one of these weird characters that popped in and then popped out. Basically, Joey has moved out, Chandler needs a new roommate, he gets Eddie. Eddie then comes in and Eddie is the creepiest human being on the planet. Like he literally makes your skin crawl. Anyway, Joey needs to move back in because he messed up and Chandler wants to get rid of Eddie, but Eddie won't go away. So what do they do? They have to do the craziest things. I mean, Eddie's like drying all kinds of fruit, you know, and his goldfish are crackers. So it's just like, Eddie, like really, like what? Eventually, they managed to get Eddie out by saying that Eddie's in the wrong apartment. And the guy is so crazy that he actually believes in it. The whole like, you know, Joey and Chandler reuniting again because that was really sad when they like left. It was the happiest to just say bye to Eddie. It was also really funny, you know, the way that Chandler reacts around Eddie. Now, this next episode is literally one of my favorite episodes. Uh, purely because this episode was shot entirely in Monica's apartment. They didn't leave the apartment, it was all there and it was just so funny. The way they used the space around them and the things around them and the way everybody reacted was just so brilliant. This episode is in season three, it's episode two, the one where no one is ready. The frustration that Ross feels when you're trying to get everybody to get ready so you can go and no one, no one is ready. So it was just brilliant, brilliant episode the next episode that i'm talking about and that i also absolutely love and this is because it was like a what if situation this is also in episode well, this is also in season three and it is episode six the one with the flashback chandler is dating janice and they're sitting at the coffee house and janice says what do you think would happen if like they hadn't met or or i don't know it was just she put this idea out there, right? And then it got everybody thinking. So awesome. And then the coffee house also was actually a bar and then it like, changed. So it's really, really cool. I love that episode because it's just, you know, giving a little bit of a different aspect to everything that happens. Then the next episode that I'm talking about, season four, episode one, the one with the jellyfish. Now you may think, jellyfish? 
Yes, this is the one where Joey peed on Monica because she got stung by a jellyfish and everybody was like, eww, eww, eww. but that's not the best part of the episode. The best part of the episode is the aftermath of Rachel's 18 page letter to Ross, trying to get him to admit that they were not on a break, okay, and that Ross cheated on Rachel and that he takes full responsibility. But it turns out Ross didn't actually read the film. He criticizes Rachel's grammar and he says, we were on a break. And also the famous line of, you fell asleep. I don't know how Jennifer Aniston did it, but it was just brilliant. It's one of my favorite lines title of the episode and it's just so great now the next episode that i really really like comes from season four episode seven the one where chandler cross the one where chandler crosses the line this is where chandler uh, kisses joey's girlfriend kathy what chandler did kind of did suck but in his defense joey was being a douche to cat to kathy and then chandler and kathy literally had like the most heartwarming chemistry ever. And I swear if Chandler and Monica weren't gonna be together, I would have wanted Chandler and Kathy Chandler and Kathy to be together because they're just it was just so cute to see them together. Still in season four, episode twelve, the one with the embryos, Phoebe is getting her brothers and Alice's embryos put up in her baby maker because she is going to be a surrogate for her but at the same time this is the episode where Rachel and Monica lose their apartment to Chandler and Joey it shows like Monica's like need and obsessive wants to always win we find out what Chandler does because the whole of friends people just don't know what Chandler does we just know he puts numbers into a computer and um, this is you know, one of the funniest episodes where Rachel is like, he's a, he's a trans monster. And like, that's not even a word. <laughs> Literally, those are the lines. And the girls lose their apartments. And for a short while, Joey and Chandler have Rachel and Monica's apartment. Phoebe also talks to the embryos and she's so sweet and loving on Phoebe's part. The next episode that I really, really like comes from season five, episode two. Guys, I love this because leading up to this point, uh, Chandler and Monica have been hooking up ever since uh, Ross's wedding, and they're like really into each other. But they're all like, they're keeping it a secret from everybody else because you know they just want to see where it goes and whatnot. But Chandler gets very comfortable with his relationship with Monica and accidentally kisses her butt. In doing so, that would like spoil everything. So he then kisses Rachel and Phoebe goodbye. Now throughout the episode, this is like a little weird thing. Even Joey's like, hey, hey, don't do that to me. And in conjunction with that episode, season five, episode 14, the one where everybody finds out. So Ross finds out that ugly naked man is selling his apartment across the way, which means that he can look directly into Monica's apartment. Rachel and Phoebe go with him. Now, Joey and Rachel already know that Monica and Chandler are like, hooking up okay but Phoebe and Ross don't know then when Rachel and Phoebe go with Ross to go check out the apartment okay Phoebe sees Monica and Chandler having sex she freaks out Rachel says don't freak out because I know and once Ross actually sees or well, once Ross actually gets the apartment at the end of the episode he sees Monica and Chandler you know doing it and he freaks out and it ends like that it's also the whole like they know that we they don't know that we know that they know that we don't know. Um, it's a whole confusing thing. And it's just really, really brilliant. It's also, okay, the whole, like, Phoebe flirting with Chandler um, in order to try and get Monica and Chandler to confess to Phoebe that, you know, they are together. Now, for this next episode, we jump all the way to season 6, episode 24 and 25, the one with the proposal. Uh, Chandler's really... Ugh. Chandler is ready to propose to Monica and he wants to do that and he's going to do that But then Richard comes in and kind of ruins the plans and Chandler gets cold feet now Chandler is like freaking out because he actually really wants to be with Monica and he realizes this so he goes home walks in and bam Monica has done the whole apartment up with candles it's so beautiful Chandler proposes to Monica and then they just have this beautiful moment guys it is the one episode that I cry in 
every time. We jump again all the way to season eight, episode nine, the one with the rumor. Now, this one, just to catch you up, Rachel is pregnant with Ross's baby. Monica and Chandler are married and they're doing Thanksgiving. And Monica invites an old school friend. And it uh, turns out this old school friend is actually, or was actually, Jennifer Aniston's husband at the time, Brad Pitt. He plays Will, who was a fellow fatty like Monica. Will really, really, really dislikes Rachel. And he lets it out that Ross and Will had a I Hate Rachel Green Club. It turns out they actually started the hermaphrodite rumor about Rachel. And everybody's actually kind of scared. Chandler even heard about the whole rumor. And uh, Rachel's just like, what the hell? Then Will finds out eventually that Rachel is bringing to Ross's baby and he's just like freaking out. He just eats sweet potato and it's just a mess of an episode, but it is brilliant and I love it. The next episode that I really, 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 really love, okay, and I know this will be controversial, but I will stand by what I say. Season 8, episode 12, the one where Joey takes Rachel on a date. Now, everybody says that the show rushed Rachel's relationship with Joey in the last season, um, that they made it up, but this season, this episode proves that those feelings never went away, okay? Rachel can't get any dates because she's pregnant. So, Joey suggests that they go out on a date and they land up showing each other their moves. During this date, Joey realizes that he kind of likes Rachel, which is so cute because I honestly love Rachel and Joey together. Okay, when Rachel moved in with Joey, I just thought it was the best thing ever, and I was like, oh my word, I really hope that you know something happens and something does. They have this huge chemistry, and Joey actually, you know, Joey starts off as like kind of like the cool, like sexy bad boy, and then he kind of goes like a bit stupid. Um, but then with Rachel, he kind of like steps up. Joey becomes like Rachel's protector in a way. Like he really just cares about her. And that's what I love about the episode um, because it shows Joey in a more mature light and he really, really cares about Rachel. And I love that. And so when people are like, oh, Joey and Rachel, no, I watched this episode and I'm just like, they were perfect. The last episode that I really, 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 really love, guys, one of my favorite episodes, um, it's the one before Phoebe gets married. It's season 10, episode 11, so the one before Phoebe gets married, and um, it's the one where the stripper cries. Rachel and Monica have a bachelorette party for Phoebe and it starts off as being like a very ladylike thing but turns out Phoebe actually wants like a strippery kind of like wild lady party um, and Chandler and Ross actually go to a college reunion where they like talk to old people and they find out a few things. Turns out they find out that Chandler kissed Rachel which for him was like no big deal but to Ross it's obviously a big deal because Rachel and Ross. Ross gets upset because he's like that's not I kiss Rachel. Turns out that Ross thought that it was Rachel on the bed but it wasn't because Monica was on the bed. Love this episode because Ross finds out that he kisses his sister and ew it was like her first kiss and his first kiss with Rachel which was actually with his sister and Chandler's standing there and he's like what the hell that I just like married. So that is the end of this week's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I just, honestly guys, Friends is just amazing. It's one of the shows that I could literally watch every single day of my life because it's just so funny and it's heartwarming and it literally just brings so much comfort to me. And uh, when I'm feeling down or when I'm feeling lonely, I put on Friends and I just feel a little bit less lonely. Uh, thank you so much for watching this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know which are your favorite Friends episodes you can also follow me on my social media which is alicia c underscore official on my twitter and alicia camacho underscore official on my instagram and guys remember to like share and subscribe to this episode uh remember you are awesome you are great and you are loved and i'll be there for you